organic learning. Look at all these crazy, interesting street vehicles. We've got a lot to go over. Let's jump right in. Let's do it. First one of the day, you guys, and check this thing out. This thing is adorable. I love it. This is a motor scooter. Yeah. But not just any motor scooter. This is a Honda Super Cub. <laughs> just like a little baby. Up. Isn't that cute? I mean, this thing's adorable, you guys. Now, here's a cool fact for everybody. This is the most produced motor vehicle in history. I mean, compared to every other motor vehicle out there, they built more of these Honda Super Cubs than anything else. Over 87 million. <laughs> That's a lot, you guys. Now, basically, as you can see, it's a tiny little motorcycle. Got a cute little seat here. Got a little rack here for storage. Big old brake light, here's your exhaust pipe. Got the handlebars here and a little speedometer. You can see how fast you're going. Very easy to ride, easy to park, easy to turn, get around town. But remember, it's still a motorcycle, so safety first. What do we do? That's right, you guys, we wear our helmets wherever we go. I love this one, it's really cute. You guys, this is a motor scooter. Oh yeah, I remember these, yep. I've been on some of these growing up. You guys know what this one is? This is a three-wheeler ATV. Woo, <laughs> check out that dude. He is ready to tear up the trails. Now, these things are built for the outdoors and off-road. And look, you got these big old balloon tires, big treads there. I mean, this thing is ready just to tear it up. Now, the only thing is with these, you gotta be really, really careful when you drive these because they do have a tendency to tip over a little bit so you really gotta watch how you turn you gotta be balanced on this make sure you know your center of gravity because these things will tip over in fact they actually discontinued these and built the very safe and much more stable four-wheeler see we got three here and nowadays you'll probably see four-wheelers out there they're just a lot more stable but some people still have these three-wheelers. They're still a lot of fun, and if you're careful, you can still enjoy some trails or maybe take them fishing or hunting or wherever you want to go outside. Just make sure, like always, got your helmet on. This, you guys, three-wheeler ATV. Oh, yeah. Any race car fans out there? <laughs> That's what I thought. Me too, you guys. This is a Formula One car. Woo! That is so cool. Now this particular one, look right here on the tail, you can see it. It's a Tyrrell P34. This actually had its heyday way back in the late 1970s. And if you follow Formula One now, you can see one major difference. It's got an extra set of wheels up on the front. So it actually had one, two, three, four, five, six wheels instead of the four wheels, which you see on most cars and definitely on today's standard Formula One cars. Now, wow, check out that giant, shiny engine. Man, that thing is full of power and ready just to tear up the track. Got a big old tail here. Check out those giant Goodyear tires. Wow, that is so cool. And he's got the guy who invented it there, Ken Tiro, his name on the front. Got some cool stickers. You see the Hot Wheels logo. I mean, this guy, that driver, he's ready to go, aren't you? He's not even talking to me. He just wants to tear up the track. That is really cool, you guys. And that is a Formula One car. Okay, gang, show of hands. Who likes fruit? I like fruit. I like fruit. <laughs> oh, man, I think everybody loves fruit. Well, you're in luck because this is a fruit truck. Oh, yeah. We're talking about a giant truck full of fresh fruit. I mean, check that out. Fruits shop. Wow. This guy's got purple, red, yellow. I mean, I don't know, grapes, maybe apples. Maybe those are like pears that aren't ripe yet. Back here, what do we have? We got some green fruit. I don't know, that could be apples or something. We got bananas. What's a pink fruit? Anybody know? I have no idea. Maybe that's a dragon fruit. This thing will drive around to your neighborhood, maybe like a farmer's market or something like that. 
and you can see they got a big megaphone there so they can let you know when they're getting close or when they're coming to your area. You guys can run out and get a fresh piece of fruit. Maybe they even make smoothies. Anybody like smoothies? Uh, yes, I love smoothies. <laughs> oh, I love the pink color and I, I love this kind of light green top. It actually protects the fruit from the sun so the sun doesn't just kind of beat down on the fruit all day long and spoil it. <laughs> Man, I want one of these, you guys. This is cool. This is a fruit truck. Yum! Okay, whoa. Whoa, you guys. Do you see this next one? I see it. Do you see it? I can't believe what I'm seeing. That's why I had to ask you. I don't even know where to, where to begin with this, but this <laughs> is a french fry truck. I mean, check this out. It is full of golden brown delicious french fries. Wow! That looks so delicious. It even says on the side, Giga Potato. American Giga Potato. I mean, these things are enormous. They're taller than the truck. I mean, and you need a truck to pull these fries around. They are that big. Man, a little bit of salt, a lot of ketchup, and we are good to go. I mean, one of these fries will feed a family of about 27 people. <laughs> that is so cool. Now, remember the other week we had the hamburger truck on? I wonder if these guys are like cousins or something like that. Well, I'll tell you what, I'd love to see both of them parked next to each other. That would be perfect. And this, you guys, is a french fry truck. Hey, anybody out there ever been to the library? Yeah, of course you have. Libraries are a blast. But have you ever had the library come to you? This, you guys, is a mobile library. Yeah, I mean, this is so cool. It's a library on wheels. How much fun is that? I mean, this whole bus is filled with books. This thing will drive around town, deliver some books to you. You can check them out. You can read them right there. And check this out. It's got like a megaphone just like the fruit truck, so you know it's getting close. You can run out, grab your favorite book, maybe check out a couple books or something like that. I mean, they got it all. They got fiction. Nonfiction, they got historical books, they got biographies, and maybe, just maybe, they even have some cool coloring books like, I don't know, Shopkins or Hot Wheels. What? <laughs> That's so cool, you guys. This is a mobile library. So, have you ever had a giant piece of chocolate cake and wish you had a glass of milk to wash it down? <laughs> well, you are in luck because this is a milk tanker. That's right, just as the picture shows on the side, this puppy is filled with milk, delicious milk from these Holstein cows right there. I mean, that is delicious. Now, I love milk with my chocolate cake or maybe a chocolate chip cookie or maybe even some ice cream. Now, it's really neat because this milk tanker will drive right up to the dairy farm They'll use some hoses and they'll fill the tanker through these portholes on the top. Tanker will drive off over to the factory there and then they'll go ahead and bottle or you know put all the milk in containers. Now you got lots of different types of milk out there. You got your whole milk, you got your 2%, 1%, skim, fat free, but my favorite kind, chocolate milk. Yes please, <laughs> this you guys is a milk tanker. Okay, okay, I have to confess, I'm really excited about this next one because this one has a secret. This one is holding a secret I can't wait to tell you about. This gang is a 6x6 six six ATV. Now, you remember earlier we did the three-wheeler ATV. That's down there, okay? That had three wheels. Boom. This one's got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this one will go on trails. This one will go through the dirt, through the mud. You got the roll bar there. Person sits there and steers it. Got a cool shovel if you have to dig yourself out. Okay, but here's the big secret. This six by six will go in the water. What? Yeah, you're going down a trail. Maybe you want to go fishing. Splash down right there in the water and you can cruise through the water and just do your thing. I mean, this is so cool. There's no steering wheel. As you can see, it's got two little kind of levers there that you pull back and forth to make it go right and left. And I mean, this looks like a ton of fun. Cool graphics, 
big old wheels and I love the color scheme. I gotta get my hands on one of these. This is a 6x6 ATV. Oh yeah, been looking forward to this one all day. <laughs> this, you guys, is a tugboat. But look who it is. Boom, it's Marine from Robocar Poli, the TV series. Marine, what are you up to today? Well, you know, I'm a tugboat, so I push boats and I pull boats, and I like to help. Oh, you're really great. We appreciate that. Well, you're welcome. So, like he said, these tugboats are really great, and they're so powerful and strong. We'll actually hook up to other boats and pull them through the harbor, or maybe give them a push here with these two front tires that kind of act like bumpers. That way they don't hurt the other boats, but there's a little cushion there so they can just kind of give them a little nudge and get them to wherever they need to be. As you can see, he's got a couple of cool flags here with anchors on the back, one and two. And he's wearing a really sharp cap with a little anchor right there on top. And uh, you mind if I honk your nose? No, go ahead. Uh -uh. Oh, <laughs> that was great. Thanks, Breen. That, you guys, is a tugboat. Wow, this one is massive. Man, I can't get too close with this guy because he is big. This is a logging truck. Wow, I'm gonna do a spinorama so you can see all the size. Now, this one is actually called a John Deere Forder. It's a pretty cool name. So let's say they're cutting down some logs on the side of the mountain. This John Deere Forder will drive up the mountain on its big eight off-road tires, okay? It'll get to where the logs are, then it'll use its crane here. It's got an arm with a little pincher to go pick up the logs, bring them over, set them on the back, and stack them neatly, just like it's done here. Then it'll drive down the mountain, all the way down, use the crane again, and load them onto the back of some 18-wheelers. Then those 18-wheelers will take the logs wherever they're needed, maybe to build a house or something like that. But couldn't be done without this John Deere folder. I mean, this thing is built for toughness, wow. I would love to see one of these in action. Love the colors, love the big old tires, and Woo! This thing is powerful. This, you guys, is a logging truck. Okay, gang, last one of the day, and check out this beauty. This is a hovercraft. Woo! Anybody seen a hovercraft before? I've seen pictures. I've never seen one in person, but I hope one day I get to go on it. You know why these are so fun? They go on the land and on the water. That's right. Now, as you can see, it's got kind of like a giant black inner tube that goes all the way around. There's a bunch of fans underneath that inflate that inner tube so it has the ability to stay above the water or above the land and kind of give it this lift. Now, these things are really, really neat and they're really, really loud. They make it for one person or, as you can see here, this one looks like it's for a whole bunch of people. In fact, this one takes people across the English Channel. That's why you've got the British flag there on the side. But they're also really, really useful in the military and the Coast Guard. And they use these things around the world, you guys, because they can go everywhere. This game is a hovercraft. Oh yeah, that is it for today. Thank you for joining us for all these great street vehicles. I hope you had fun. I'm giving it a double thumbs up as usual. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a fun comment below. Thanks, everybody.